Hi, I'm Lauren, the president of Lawton Digital Marketing. I'm going to show you two ways to make sure that your Google Analytics tracking code is installed correctly and tracking on your website. The two ways we're going to do that are with Google Analytics itself with their real-time reports. And the second way is with the Google Tag Assistant, a Chrome browser extension. In order to complete these two verification methods, you'll need to be in the Chrome browser, you'll need to install the Tag Assistant extension, which I'll show you, and you'll also need to already have installed your Google Analytics tracking code. Finally, you'll need to be able to access your Google Analytics account. If you can do all that, you're ready to go. Let's first start with showing you how to verify using Google Analytics. Open in one browser window your website. We'll use Lawton.Digital. In another browser window, in order to do that, go to File, New Window in Chrome. Go over to your Google Analytics. To get to Google Analytics, you can Google it, and then just log in to the Google account that has access to your tracking. Once you're there, select your website from the menu options. Once you've pulled up your website, go to Reporting. Under Reporting, you'll see a menu on the left side. Click on Real Time. Under Real Time, select Overview. Once you're on Overview, your analytics tracking code should be in real time reporting back to you if someone's on your website. So then, go back to your website. Let's go to a different page. We're going to go to the About page of the website, so we should see Google Analytics saying that someone is on the About page. And it did. Top active pages. And it shows me that one person is on the About page. The more traffic you have coming to your website, the more pages you'll have to check because it's going to show you all current activity. So you might have to check a few more pages to verify that it's actually tracking you and you know that things are working correctly. That's the Google Analytics real-time method. You're already halfway done. The second method that we use to double check also verifies that it's the correct account that information is being sent to. For that one, go back to the browser window in Chrome that has your website up. Next, you're going to need to install the Tag Assistant Chrome extension. In order to do that, you go to the extension section in Chrome. That's under the menu, settings. Once that pulls up on the left hand side, select extensions. Once that pulls up, scroll down to the bottom, select get more extensions. Select extensions and just type in tag assistant. It's a free extension. Select extensions again. The search box will auto update. When you don't have it installed yet, you'll get an Add to Chrome prompt right next to it. Install the Tag Assistant extension. It's a simple installation. There's no registration or anything tricky. Once you install it, you're good to go. Once it's installed, in the right-hand side of your browser window, you'll see a little blue bar, or sorry, a little blue tag. Hover over it, and it'll say Tag Assistant. All right, now you're ready to go to verify that your tracking is installed and tracking correctly to the right account. All right, so once your website is pulled up again, hover over and click on the little blue tag with your mouse. Hit the Enable blue button, then hit the Record blue button. Once you've done that, click out of the Tag Assistant, and then refresh your browser window. You can refresh by clicking on the refresh button right here or by selecting Command R. Once you hit refresh, you'll see the tag assistant showing you that things are recording. A green tag is a good sign. That means that things are tracking correctly. Here's the result of the first tag analysis. So when I refreshed, two different tracking scripts were fired. It's telling me that first Google Analytics was fired, which is good, and also our site uses Google Tag Manager, so that script was fired as well. It's helpful to know that if you're using Google Tag Manager, having both of these appear separately 
does not mean that your analytics is uh, duplicated. What it's saying is Google Tag Manager fired. Once Google Tag Manager fired, it correctly got Google Analytics to fire. So then, let's click into the Google Analytics. Click on the page view requests. Make sure that the page title or the URL, whichever is easier for you to find, or sorry, the page title is the easiest. Make sure the page title matches up with the page title in your browser window, which in this case it does. About Lawton Digital Marketing. About Lawton Digital Marketing, right here. So you can tell that it's recording the correct thing. The last thing you want to check is make sure that it's the right account ID. So click on the down arrow, and then you can highlight and then copy your web property ID. You can right click on it and select copy, or hit Command C on your Mac. Now let's go back to the Google Analytics browser window. In Google Analytics, select admin, then select uh, tracking info again from your property, and then select tracking code. This is the tracking code that should be appearing on our website. So let's make sure it is. You can just eyeball it, make sure the numbers match up if you want, which you can tell that they do. To make sure that I'm looking at it correctly, I usually uh, do a command find and paste. So that is uh, command F on a Mac. You can also go to your browser bar and go to edit and then find, like that. And then paste in the code that you had copied to your browser or to your clipboard. As soon as you paste it in, Chrome will show you anything that matches up with what you pasted. In this case, it's highlighting the tracking ID, showing me that they're an exact match. That means that the tracking that I saw in Google in Tag Assistant matches up perfectly with my Google Analytics account. So everything matches and is tracking correctly. Thanks.